Are there any citizens wishing to speak? Any citizens wishing to speak? Any citizens wishing to speak? Sheriff Beth? Please be sure to give your name and address for the record. Absolutely. First of all, thanks for recognizing uh, Riggs and Terry Tiff today. Um, it was amazing on that day to see Riggs with the area right above his eyes that was just an open wound. And to see him today was absolutely amazing. Uh, the community, the, the state, really the nation has adopted Riggs and Terry Tift, and it's his birthday, and, and they're both quite handsome. Uh, <laughs> thanks for, for honoring him today. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, I also want to thank the entire county board for the, for the uh, stipends that, that the, county, the county employees all got. And thanks for doing that. Thanks for supporting that. And I did want to point out, though, that, and I know that all of us didn't get stipends. Everyone in here didn't get a stipend. I didn't get a stipend. And there were just a few other employees. If you go back to, and I just want to point this out, because I'm going to guess it was a mistake or an oversight, and, and I didn't even notice this at first until I found out that one of the people that, that worked hard for the last few years uh, didn't get any stipend at all. And one of the bonus awards, uh, it falls in three tiers, $2,400 to full or part-time employees in positions with elevated risk. $1,200 to full and part-time employees not in the first tier. $750 to all the other including temporary and seasonals. Well, the one employee that I talked to, she was very excited about getting her stipend. She never got that. She's a college student. And the seasonals, I thought all seasonals were getting it. <clears throat> one of the uh, one of the employees that works at Brightondale Golf Course, uh, she's been working there from, from college in the summer, in the spring, and she work, goes to Carthage. And uh, she was actually working the last day of the, of the golf season on November, I think it was November 1st was the last day. But what I didn't pick up, and I'm not sure if all you guys picked up either, is to be eligible for this bonus, um, employees must be actively employed in good standing as of November 15th. So there's one employee that Brightondale closed, and... Um, is coming back, didn't quit, didn't get terminated, plans on coming back you know, when, when uh, the golf season opens up, but because the golf season ended on the, fi on the first, two weeks before this, the way this is written, uh, the seasonal employees, which could be high school students, college students, retired, retired senior citizens that come and mow the grass in the parks, uh, clean up the beaches, take the gate money at Silver Lake Park during the summertime, all these seasonal employees that, again, a lot of them are college or high school students, they didn't get it because their season ended, it could be as, as a few days before this November 15th, but they still plan on coming back next year. Some of these employees have been working for the county for years as, you know, maybe a, a ranger on a golf course or, or coming and cutting grass seasonally. And I'm going to, I'm hoping this was just a mistake, and I'm going to guess it was, or just the way it's worded, but I'm hoping, and I don't know that you guys can, if you agree with me, first of all, but if you do, that, that all seasonal employees, um, I thought were going to get it. But if they should have gotten it, um, that they didn't get it on, on November 3rd, or I'm, I'm sorry, on December 3rd. And I'm hoping that can be changed, whether it, can, it probably can't be changed now because it's not on the agenda. But I'm hoping it can be changed to all these people, whether they're high school, college, senior citizens that do wonderful things for our county, um, spring, summer, and fall, but didn't, weren't active employees on this one day, and I'm hoping that, that we can go back and we can address, it isn't thousands of, of these people, but it's a handful, and to especially the, the uh, high school and, and uh, college students, that $750 helps pay for their education and what they're doing. I hope that, uh, I hope that we can change that. And just so you know, that one, that one uh, seasonal employee, it was my daughter. And, uh, <clears throat> but I did some research, and it's, it's all the ones that kind of fit in that category of not working. I wanted you guys to know that up front that was my daughter that, that did that. And also, during the budget process, um, we did, with all of you, we did, uh, we raised the hourly wage to all of our correctional staff, the DSOs, the COs, and we, are, we gave them good raises. And um, about a month ago or so, we were 29 correctional officers short. We're still about 29, but we are having people to even apply to be a correctional officer or a cook. And 
right now we are going through interviews. We have got about 20, three started today, and 20 are lined up to be starting in January. So the efforts that all of you did, that all of us did to make this happen, it, it's working. There was one, there was one group of people, and I'm, this, I know this can't be solved tonight. I'm going to be bugging you guys in the next few uh, months. Uh, but there was 21 people, our booking clerks, uh, they somehow got overlooked in this budget process, and, and they didn't get raises like the other correctional staff did. And uh, so I'm just giving you a heads up that I'm going to be looking at, at coming and asking for, to do something to help correct that for next year. All the people they work with, all the cooks, the correctional officers, the direct supervisory officers, all of them got pretty good raises to help keep them. I want to do the same with the booking clerks too, the ARSs. So those are my two missions, um, and it fit perfectly under Citizens' comments because it's not on the agenda. So thank you very much.